Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to Soap Tisserie. We're going to be making 100% coconut oil soap today. Um, coconut oil, while very important for a nice bubbly lather, can be very um, drying on the skin. So I'm going to be super fatting at a level of 20% um, so that it's also nourishing. <clears throat> I'm going to put my safety glasses on, got my gloves on. And we're basically ready to add uh, the lye water solution right here to the coconut oil right here. And yesterday I made a Castile soap that was completely free. All right, just trying to plug this in. There we go. Completely free of any fragrance or color. Um, today this one's still going to be colorless because I'm waiting for my um, order of colorants and fragrances to arrive. Um, and I don't know exactly how long they'll be, but I am uh, going to add, I do have a little bit of fragrance here, and so I am going to add fragrance. So. So it will be very white without anything else in it. <clears throat> I just want that to be... So, I'm going to hopefully get this to a... just a light trace. But, since I'm new to this, I might get it a little thicker just to make sure I don't want a false trace. That would be worse. <laughs> so, here goes. shut off and I realized you guys were still seeing me mix so I mixed it until it was at emulsification I added a strawberry fragrance um, and I stick blended that in and then I poured it into the mold and we did butterflies and then we just kind of did some random stuff with the leftover and uh, I've ordered new molds and new colorants um, well colorants because I don't really have any I have some fragrances but and I've got more fragrances coming too so and I've got like a loaf mold coming and a bunch of other little MM molds, so we'll um, be having lots more fun soon. Um, but if you would like to keep learning with me, um, please hit the subscribe button. And uh, hopefully, uh, and if you want, you can also look me up on Facebook on Subtisserie. And hopefully, I can clean up some room, uh, more room on my camera so that that doesn't happen again. All right. Sorry about that, and thanks for watching. Bye. Hello, welcome back to Soap to Three. This uh, it's not quite 24 hours later. Um, it's just a few short of that, and so, but we're here for the unmolding of the coconut soap, coconut oil soap. So, I really want to see the butterflies, but I'm going to save them for last. These are very hard already, and as you can see, they look really nice because they're not as soft as the oh, <laughs> so plates. the coconut oil. I mean the olive oil, the Castile soap. They're already a harder bar, which is good. And that one stayed together a lot better as well. All right, now for the butterflies. There. Aren't they adorable? Mm. I have a cold, so this is the only video I'm doing today. I'm gonna go and have some hot tea. Uh, curl up by our fireplace. 
place. It's very cold in our house today, which is probably why things are ready so fast. It's minus 33 out now, uh, Celsius. So, yeah, so there they are. And just for fun, I'll show you the comparison. Coconut oil soap, Castile soap, olive oil. So it's not a huge difference, but these are much whiter. Um, these are more like a off-white. So, very pretty. Oh. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you with the next video. I haven't got it planned yet, so let's, well, it's going to be a surprise for everyone. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you like what you're seeing and want to keep seeing more. Thanks so much. Bye.